What's up guys, it's Emma here with our video preview of Dark Souls Remastered. Before we start, it's worth noting that all of this capture was taken from the most recent preview build of Dark Souls Remastered on the PS4 Pro. There have been a few upgrades to Dark Souls Remastered to keep it more in line with what players expect today. For instance, you can use multiple souls at once and you can reassign the jump button to L3. These are some minor changes compared to the jump from 30fps to 60fps and of course the upgraded visuals compared to the original game. Dark Souls Remastered definitely looks nicer than the original game, but it's still not as nice as we were hoping for. We were hoping for a visual upgrade that brought the game closer to Dark Souls 3 or Bloodborne, and as you can see, the remastered version of Dark Souls 1 is still a way off. If you want to see a more detailed video comparing Dark Souls Remastered to the original game, you can check out our other video that we uploaded today. Of all the things that have been upgraded and improved in Dark Souls Remastered, there's one thing that really bothered us while we were testing out the preview build. Motion blur has been added and at some points it looks absolutely dreadful. The effect is way too heavy, particularly when you're changing direction or circling an enemy, and we did not see an option to turn it off in the PS4 preview build. We're really hoping that the PC version will enable players to switch this off, because we definitely want to. We didn't get the chance to see the Switch version, but this one seems quite close to the original version of the game. The Switch version will run at 30fps at 720p handheld and 1080p docked. Whereas the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X versions will be upscaled to 4K and should run at a smooth 60fps. Personally, I'm more interested in seeing what the remastered version will run like on a PC, as it will be running in native 4K with 2K textures. With the best version of the game currently being the PC version with DS Fix, this should be a noticeable upgrade. If you haven't played the first Dark Souls game yet, this seems like the perfect time to do so. The game is launching at a lower price point, and unlike the PC version of the game, you don't have to mod it to get it working properly. There's also a version releasing for the Nintendo Switch, so you can play Dark Souls anywhere in the world. We understand that some PC players may be reluctant to pay up for another copy of the game, especially when the DS Fix version doesn't appear to be that far off the remastered version. Hopefully Bandai Namco will think about providing returning PC players with a discounted version of the game. Thanks for checking out our preview video. As I said before, we have a side-by-side -side comparison video featuring Dark Souls Remastered and Dark Souls with the DS Fix mod, so be sure to watch that too. If you want to see roughly 9 minutes of Dark Souls Remastered gameplay running on the PS4 Pro, we've uploaded that also. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, this really helps us and ensures that we can keep making videos just like this one. Have a good day and we'll catch you in our next video or stream.